a ray of sunshine, shall we? That would be our Brad Perry. There are guitars <laughs> yes. and there are classrooms. Yeah. He is a happy guy in hey, Port Mala. Hey, Brad. So, you know, I, I'm happy because we're bringing guitars into the classroom, which was so great. You know, Taylor Guitar has a great uh, program along with the uh, San Diego Music Foundation. But guitars in the classroom is for the teachers, which is really great to bring music in. This is Miss Ruth and Miss Katya. I say it right, Miss Katya? Katya. Katya, I said it right. And they are uh, two of the teachers that have uh, been to the program. It's great. I want to start with Miss Ruth here because you got back into the classroom a couple of years ago and you decided you want to bring music in. So this is really great for you, right? I love it. Yeah, my kids really enjoy it. It's a great way to start and end the day, and we use music throughout to just teach the curriculum as well as just to enjoy it and have fun. Yeah, one thing that's very important is that we know our teachers need to pay a lot more, need to be paid a lot, 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 lot more, and that's why this program is really great, too, because it is free. It's completely free. Um, Jess works really hard at fundraising and getting people to donate the instruments, um, people that just really believe in the program and what we want to do for our children. They donate their time, um, and that allows us to go get the lessons for completely for free um, for as long as we want. And then we get ukuleles to bring into our classroom and guitars. Yeah, and that's right there. That's so important because I know a lot of teachers are sitting there going, well, you know, I could do the class, but I can't afford the guitar or anything like that. So you guys supply them, which is very fun. And what's also great, too, and that is our bilingual classes that are very important. And that's where you come in because you are teaching both uh, Spanish and English, is it? Yes. Um, I'm actually an English learner support teacher, so I, I support all the English learners in our area. And recently at one of our schools, we've started a dual language program. Program. So the principal and I, he's also been taking some of the courses. We went into one of the classrooms and taught the kids a song in Spanish. And so we have Spanish learners singing along. We have kids who are learning Spanish. Some, some kids are, are bilingual or trilingual, and they're all singing along in Spanish. And you know what's so amazing? And we know that kids, and, and a lot of people do too, learn from music. Because I know there's probably uh, some parent right now who has the TV on or has the music in the background, and their little one is singing you know, the song fluently like there's no tomorrow and then you know of course you ask them to do something else and they're like what what make my make my bed how do i make my bed and then you sing a song about it yeah, they make the bed they go to the bath they know how to go to the bathroom all kinds of stuff and that's why this is great so again it's guitars in the classroom it uh kicks off actually your uh, intense classes start when jess we wait until july because a lot of teachers need to take a break and also our year-round schools don't get out until july right yeah. so we start well july 24th to 28th here in san diego if we have a really big enrollment we'll find a bigger space but right now we work closely with the Visual and Performing Arts Department here in San Diego Unified. So we'll be at the IMC for that week. And then the week after, we'll be up in Julian at the Teacher Retreat, which is like summer camp for grown-ups with music. <laughs> so fun. Awesome. I love it. So and it's going to be great. And again, uh, if you are a teacher out there, all you got to do is go to, to guitarsinclassroom.org, sign up, or if you know a teacher or anybody, yes. please get them involved, uh, which is so great. Yes. And classified staff. This is not just for teachers. If somebody works in a school setting and they are influencing the lives of children, if they play and sing, they're going to hand that to the children that they contact. Even secretaries in the offices play, <laughs> counselors, librarians, etc. We'll get them all in. We'll get them all in there. Uh, okay, are we ready for a little song that you guys we've been writing here? So, uh, and I'll do the switch up. So we'll start. We'll start here, and hopefully, I don't know, Mike. Oh, you got. It. Thank you, Kevin. All right, all right. So we'll start with the C. All right, great. Okay. Are you going to do Brad and the teachers? Brad and the teachers want to sing the song for you, Carlos and Lisa. <laughs> because someone brought it up. And I'll just do it once, and that's about grace. Brad and the teachers love shrimp and grits. 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 The shrimp are yummy and the grits are creamy. The shrimp are yummy and the grits are creamy. Carlos and Lisa. Nice. <laughs> nice. Bravo. <laughs> there Bravo. we go. All right, we'll check back with you, you and the, the lovely teachers All in right. a little bit. The recurring theme of shrimp and grits. <laughs> <laughs> Take a quick break. We'll be right back. See with how more much Good fun school can be? That's great. I know. We'll be right back. <laughs>